Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Thursday. Denver police say there have been no arrests made so far in the shooting off East Colfax near the Carla Madison Rec Center and East High School yesterday afternoon. Witnesses say they saw a large crowd of students fighting in front of the rec center and shortly after they say they heard five to six gunshots. Two boys were injured and East High School was on lockdown. Today the principal says counseling and additional support will be available to students. With record setting temps ahead today, dozens of Denver public schools will be closed or letting out early because they don't have air conditioning. Schools in the Pooter and Thompson districts are also letting out early. You can find a list of those schools right now on Denver7.com. And there are places to go to keep cool today. The city of Denver is opening several cooling centers. Rec centers and most libraries will be open during regular business hours for anyone who needs a break from the extreme heat. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. And the good news is there's only one more day of it before things really cool down. We do have another heat advisory though going into effect at 10 o'clock this morning in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. Covers pretty much all of northeastern Colorado and the entire metro area. So again, get out early this morning. We'll be in the low 70s by 8 o'clock, low to mid 80s by about 10, and then a little warmer, in fact, than yesterday. Some low to even mid 90s as early as noon. We're going to be close to 100 again today, likely our third record breaking day this week. So much cooler tomorrow. A good 20, almost 30 degrees cooler tomorrow with the chance for more showers as we head into the weekend.